Hey guys, Alan here with Bass to Basics. I'm doing a little unboxing today. Uh, this is the Monster Bass box, and I will preface this by saying I did already open this when I got home from work. I was pretty excited because it's a Lunker Hunt takeover this month, so everything in here is Lunker Hunt. Uh, I'm a big fan of their stuff. It's oh, it's different. You know, it's something you don't see every day. So um, there were a couple stickers in here. There was a Monster Bass flag sticker and a Lunker Hunt sticker. They're all in my truck already. But I just wanted to go through these things, show you what was in here. So let's dive into it. Uh, first thing on the top, everybody's been going crazy about these things. It's the Phantom Spider. Uh, the color that this is, is the, uh, it's called Fang. And this thing, I'm really excited to throw this actually because I think it's gonna be fun. This thing is, it feels creepy first and foremost. Um, smaller hooks than you would normally expect with a spider type bait, but it's very soft. Uh, the hooks are incredibly sharp and they're pointed up already, so I don't really have to alter these hooks in any way. They're already very sharp and these legs look like they're gonna have all kinds of crazy action coming through the top of the water there. So that thing is, I'm very excited to throw this to see how this is gonna work and that color I think it's going to work really well in a lot of the water that I fish around here in uh, northern Georgia. So that's the first thing. Uh, second, got some Daiichi hooks, got a couple worm hooks in there, and an EWG red hook. So those are really, really good quality hooks. This thing, the popping frog, this guy, and it's in bluegill pattern. This I'm really super excited. I love fishing with frogs and top water. Um, this guy just there's nothing else like this out there. It's it's not quite as soft as like my spro frogs or any of those. It's a little bit harder, more dense, but the hooks are razor sharp. They're already pointed up at an upward angle. It's got a nice cupping on the mouth there. That nice blue and white belly that blue yellow kind of pattern and these legs these legs just stretching out during the pop gives it that extra action i'm i'm super excited to throw this and it's you know i think it's gonna have more of a realistic appearance sitting on top of the water as you pop it along this this thing's gonna be a lot of fun so and Next, we got these. Uh, these are the swim bentos. They're little smaller swim baits here. Uh, let's get them out here. And it's, I mean, these are full packs. The good thing about monster bass is every time they send you some, it's always a full pack. So these are four and a half inches. Uh, this is the sassy shad color. Interesting little color. I mean, it's kind of got a lot of this, you know, the chartreuse in there. There's a almost like a clearish piece in the middle there that's reflective with that blue with the glitter in the back. It's nice and sturdy. Feels like you'd probably be able to catch a few fish on this. The only thing is I, the little thin profile. I think I may end up using this more as a trailer than anything. I got some spinner baits and things that this would go perfect with. So, but I'm really, really excited to try this thing too. Um, I even try that on a Ned rig since it's a little thinner, just to just see what happens. <laughs> it's a little bit longer than most Ned baits, but you never know. Have some fun with it, see what happens. All right, so that's those guys. Next up here, so this guy actually is a. Uh, this is called the Commotion. It's from their Impact series, and this color is Silver Side. This kind of just came out when I was opening it earlier to check it out, so it was kind of a pain to get back in there. So this guy, it's got almost like a jerkbait style body, but it's got a popper head. 
Uh, it's pretty, pretty decently sized profile there, black back. It's got that silver shed type side, a little chartreuse in the mouth, the nice eyes on the side, and the belly is very like a silver. There's a little copper in there and it rattles. It's got a very loud rattle to it actually. So this I'm excited to try. I haven't seen anything really like this that I've ever fished with. So it's more like an elongated popper. I think this is gonna be really fun, uh, especially in those early morning or late in the evening hours, which I'm about to go out this evening, try a couple of these things out. This might be one of those I try out today. Not uh, just because the, all the water I fish in is perfect for top water. So, that's that guy. Next up, got these craws here. Now, these are the Descend craws. They have a Descend series. Uh, this is their June bug color. Now they come with a couple hooks in there. I believe those are four, yeah, four aught, uh, four aught wide BWGs, and they are salted core. These look very interesting. Um, what's interesting to them to me is how thick and the weight of them. They're actually fairly heavy. They're probably about an eighth of an ounce a piece. So they've got, these would be great for punching. Uh, flipping, put it on a Texas rig or something and just punch it through cover. You know, they've got a nice body, it's real sturdy. You probably catch a few fish on this before I even get torn up. It's real, real sturdy plastic. So, and the June bug color they've got here, it's got some blue flake in it, kind of like a purplish, motorola-ish kind of base. So not your standard June bug color, but it's Definitely something that I can fish with. And it may be a decent trailer too, after they get used a little bit. Throw it on there as a trailer. So I'm definitely gonna play around with that a lot and see what I can do with it. Let's see here. Now these, these have me a little dumbfounded. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on these. These are their black leeches. Uh, I don't know. You got me. Um, so they're very, very light, very thin. They've got a nice little wiggle to them. I think you might be able to get away. I'm, I was actually thinking about maybe even trying to drop shot these and just let them flap around. Uh, or just put them on as a trailer, almost like a chunk style trailer on the back of some of my black and red or all black spinner baits or jigs. So I don't, you really couldn't do a whole lot more than that with them, I don't think. I think I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna try to drop shot it just to see what kind of action I get out of this tail because it is so thin. I think it'll have some good action in the water. Uh, solid black, so, you know. We'll, we'll see how it works. Definitely gonna be interesting. But that's the leech that they have. And last but not least, you get eight baits in this box. This is the regional series box. I am a subscriber, I'm not sponsored. You know, wouldn't mind it, but. <laughs> yeah. Last thing we got here, the Yappa Rat. So, this thing, I see, I've seen it in stores here recently uh, up at our local Bass Pro Shop. And I've been tempted to buy one, but I knew I was getting this box this month, so I was kind of hoping I would get one just to try it, and I did. Uh, this is called Burrow, this color. And it's got a plastic little jitterbug type mouth on it here. Um, I've never really fished anything with a plastic mouth on it, so it's gonna be a little different. It's very, very soft. The hook's incredibly sharp, they're pointed up, and Lunker Hunt seems to understand the top water game as far as keeping the hooks pointed up and also keeping the uh, the hooks very sharp. So I, not really any modifications I'll have to do to this tube, if anything. And it's got this little tail on the rear here. Um, overall, it, it looks like it'd be fun, especially the water around here. I know that there's a lot of mice around a lot of these ponds and stuff. 
and I'm sure fish eat them at times if they get in the water. So this may be a profile that they're kind of used to seeing. Uh, we'll see. I'm definitely gonna try it out and see how it goes. But, so I just wanted to go over the monster bass. What I'm gonna start trying to do is, uh, I'm probably gonna get a subscription as well to uh, Mystery Tackle Box, because I've bought a few from Academy here recently and they've had some pretty good stuff in them. Um, and start doing some comparisons. And I'm gonna go out and fish all these lures over the next, you know, week or so. Try them out. And so I'm really excited about that frog and that spider especially. Is I, I just the spider, I've heard so many great things about the performance of it. I'm super excited to try it. And uh I mean if you guys don't have monster bass, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh they have a twenty percent coupon in this month's box as well for Lunker Hunt's website. So, you know, get you some extra baits. Uh, they have a little small catalog in here this month, that thing from Lunker Hunt. Uh, it's got some of their different things in here, some of the lists, like their Bento series, their Yappa series, their Fetch series. So they've got a lot of really cool items that, uh, you know, they're kind of ahead of the game in some of these things, like the spider. I don't really know many people that are doing baits that have this kind of realism and also outside of the box presentation and their color schemes are amazing uh, their color schemes are great and i saw these just a moment ago these spicy dragons here it's like a creature beaver kind of stuff bait i may go online here in a little bit and order some of those because i love beaver and creature baits but yeah definitely recommend it it's i've had nothing but great boxes the last three months since i started subscribing to them you always get high quality there's never sample packs it's always full packs these guys you know about the fourth of every month my payment comes out and usually by the 10th i've got my box and it's always on time they give you email updates they're great um so i definitely would suggest them um and it's it's a great deal so but few baits there hopefully you guys can see some things you might like as well give me some tips if you if you have any idea how to fish these leeches i would love to hear it because i have no clue exactly what i'm going to do with these yet uh i'm going to figure it out and hopefully catch something with it probably a turtle but i'm going to try to catch something with it and i will see you guys next time have a good one